is a disaster this time of year. There's like random wrapping paper, boxes, like delivery boxes from Amazon. Toys are everywhere. Baking, it's just a mess. And I've let it go out of control. So I need to clean up my house. I'm not sure, I think my cousins may be coming over for dinner and I'm gonna be making lasagna tonight. I also wanted to bake, I need to get some wrapping done. Got a lot in the go and it's already, it's almost 12.30 and I haven't cleaned one thing. So, <laughs> anybody wants to send a maid service over? <laughs> if, yeah, Ava has to, she, well, at least Ava's cleaned. Ava's cleaned her room and that was so cute. But if anybody knows a good uh, cleaning service who wants to come over and help me, <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Angela, and I like to do videos on all things about motherhood, family, lifestyle, and. Your name's Ava with an A, a V, and an A. Good girl. And I like to do videos on all things about motherhood, family, lifestyle, and Christmas. And it is day 18, guys. We. There's like six days left until Christmas. How did that happen? Santa's coming in six days, you're so right. Anyways, I gotta get going, so click that subscribe button. I would absolutely love you to become one of my subscribers, and let's get on with the video. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Yeah. So you're not done yet, awesome. Good girl. Keep dusting. What a good little cleaner. What are you looking forward to most this Christmas? Is it kind of trying to get back to normal? I guess, well, as normal as we can be, or seeing family, or maybe carrying forward traditions that you may have started last year? Let me know down in the comments below. 
I know that I started a couple new traditions this year, like baking with my nieces for Ava. That was so much fun. But also I wanna carry forward some of those like quiet and peaceful moments that we found as a family last year for 2020. So let me know, I am so interested. December has absolutely flown by. I cannot believe that when this video goes up, it is already December 19th. So I really wanna try and slow down a little bit and savor these next few days. I think myself and even friends that I've talked to, they feel like there's a lot of pressure this year to like go bigger or go better. We have to do better because 2020, we couldn't get together with family and it wasn't normal. But I also don't want that pressure. That's what I kind of miss 2020 for. Is that, is that okay to say that I miss 2020 for that? I don't want to lose the calm and the peace that I kind of felt last year. A lot of people that I heard, you know, a lot of people I've spoken to have said that's one thing that they're going to miss is actually not having to rush around and jam the car full of presents and food and run around here and there and everywhere. So. I just wanna like savor these next few days before the craziness of Christmas comes. that I'm doing this big cleanup now because then that means the lead up to Christmas, I'm gonna divide up my cleaning and try and get on a little bit of a schedule so that I can do a little bit each day and just kind of stay on top of my cleaning and maintain everything. I don't wanna be spending hours a day cleaning. I don't wanna waste that time. I wanna sit and watch movies and all my Hallmark movies and read a Christmas book and just relax and play in the snow with Ava. So I hope that this little cleaning motivation helps you come along and clean with me. I know it's tough, but when it's done, you're gonna feel so much better. And then that way, the lead up to Christmas, you don't have that much pressure with keeping or finding time to have a clean house. Now you can just do a little bit each day to stay on top of it. All right, so I'm still in the middle of cleaning and I just sent my cousin a TikTok of, have you seen, I think his name's Chris Fleming, but have you seen him? He does this parody of like a mom cleaning the house and she's like, we need to make it look like nobody lives here. Throw out all the chairs, don't sit on the couch. That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show you guys. So last night, Mirka and I were putting Ava to bed and we heard like a truck pull up outside and somebody went on our front step and Buster was losing his mind. It was, 
as he always does. But nobody rang the doorbell, and so Mirko like peeked outside, and somebody left something on our doorstep. So they left this lovely card, and it says, in honor of our grandma who loved Christmas lights, we choose your home as one of our favorites. Enjoy our grandma's favorite treats. And then they left us this little thing of chocolates. I want the cherry one. Yeah. <laughs> How sweet is that? That like made Mirka and I's night. It's that, this is why we do our Christmas lights, is just to like put a smile on people's faces, also because we truly love Christmas and also for this little munchkin here. But no, we truly love Christmas and if this made if this made somebody come here, kiddo. I want to try that. You wanna try chocolate? Well, I don't know because they're they're liqueur filled chocolate, so I don't know if this little one should no, have some. I think these are maybe for mummy and daddy later on. <laughs> But how awesome is that? That like made it all worthwhile. It's a lot of work. Mirik puts so much heart and soul into it. He works so hard every year to put that on that uh, magical Christmas display outside. And if it puts a smile on somebody's face, then that is really what it's all about. So thank you to whoever left this. I don't know if this is one of our neighbors, but this, oh. yeah, meant so much to us. So thank you so much. So I have a favor to ask. I need your help. What content would you like me to show more of? Sometimes I feel like I put a bit too much of everything out there and I don't focus enough on a certain, well, the term is niche within the YouTube community. But yeah, I'm not sure. What videos of mine do you guys like the best? Is it Kind of the activities that I do with Ava? Is it the cleaning? Is it the decor? Is it my clothing hauls, grocery meal plans? Let me know because yeah, help a mama out and let me know what you guys would like to see more of. coming over tonight and I have this collection of Christmas chocolate that we haven't broke out yet. So it's six days to Christmas. So do you guys want to organize it? Do you want to take the wrappers off the chocolate Eva? Oh, of course you want to try them all. <laughs> so obviously the classic quality street and then I got the Ferrero Rocher collection because I like the coconut. Eva doesn't. And then I got the regular Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, Peyton likes them too. Toffee Faye, and then Turtle! So, Ava, you can organize this chocolate, okay? But I want to try some. Well, of course you want to try some. You're going to turn into <laughs> chocolate. She's a Toffee Faye monster. <laughs> okay, you guys, have fun. And I'm going to put together this lasagna. So I made my meat sauce, my homemade meat sauce. It sat overnight because then it's even better because the flavors develop. Now I'm gonna assemble the lasagna, I'll be ready to go. for yourself for 2022? Or do you make New Year's resolutions for yourself? Last year was kind of the first year that I didn't make any goals. I didn't put that pressure on myself. Instead, 
I look back on what I learned in 2020 and that really helped me. It helped me focus myself for the near. And I actually achieved a lot of goals and I'm really proud of what I accomplished in 2021. But this year I'm thinking about making a vision board and focusing a little bit more on improving myself. Let me know down in the comments below if you're looking for some New Year's motivation or if you're interested on how I set goals for myself. All right, so Merrick, husband of the year, is going to mop for me. Yay. But that took way longer than I thought it was going to. I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna call that a day for cleaning. Um, I got a nip to the store. I gotta to run to the store and pick up a couple things, then we're gonna have dinner. Santa plates, <laughs> ready to go. The lasagna smells so good. We got the Caesar salad ready, garlic bread, and an Ava. <laughs> and here's our beautiful Christmas tree. Ava, turn on the Christmas lights. Daddy said it's time. <gasps> Joy to the world. <laughs> Turn everything on. No, turn everything on outside. Like, do you want to see something? I put two and a one. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Whoa! All right, friends, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna film anything when my cousins get here. We'll see what the night brings, but just in case I don't, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. This is the last weekend before Christmas. I can't believe it. So. Relax, get the most out of the season, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 19. Holy cow! Good night. It smells so good.